last you returned from Ord, brother. What news? Zyta. Greetings, Valiant. I want you to meet Traherne, another of the Silvari Firstborn. Only a few of the Firstborn have wild hunts. I am one. Traherne is another. I believe he carries the heaviest burden of us all. More difficult than fighting an Elder Dragon? Our task is tangible, if dangerous, young Valiant. His is ephemeral. There may be no solution. I'm glad to meet you, Valiant, but I'm afraid we have no time for proper welcomes. There is a more immediate matter at hand. Warden Tegwin patrols the beach at Anwin, destroying the Risen that wash in from Orr. We exchange many letters on the subject. The last missive was written during a recent storm, and mentioned an Orion artifact she'd seen wash up on the beach. Tegwin said she intended to retrieve it, but since then I've heard nothing. I fear for her safety. I'd be happy to go and look for her, Trahan. If she's in trouble, I'll lend her a hand. Good. It will be useful for you to see what we are fighting, Valiant. Or is growing stronger day by day. I'm ready to witness the dragon's corruption. I'm not afraid. As soon as I know more about what's happened to Tegwin, I'll contact you. Outside Lion's Arch. That city holds many dangers. You've met someone from the Nightmare Court? And you... One more seed plant. There we go. Perfect. Tick. Oh, you're not Tegwin. Thorns and brambles, where is she? 
I'm looking for Tegwin too. A firstborn sent me to check on her. Who are you? My name is Karis. Tegwin and I are both wardens here at Anwen. We're supposed to protect the beach, but I can't. Oh no! The Risen are coming! Please, stranger, help me keep those monsters off the beach. We'll talk after. Hold your ground. The undead are approaching. Give up yet? Wait to see it all. Trouble is on the way. Very well, Warden Karras. The beach is safe again. Now, what can you tell me about Tegwin? She's my very good friend and my mentor. She was teaching me how to be a good warden, but now she's missing, and I'm all alone. Calm down, young one. When did you last see her? Five nights ago, when a storm hit the village. We were at the watch post. Tegwin spotted something flashing like bright starlight down on the beach. She went to investigate the next morning, as soon as the storm ended. Tegwin was gone before I woke up. She never returned. I searched and searched, but there was no sign of her. I know she's not dead. If she'd been killed, I would have found her remains. That's true, she was attacked by undead. But what about Crate? They occasionally take captives. Are there any in this area? Crate? Oh, pollen powder. I hadn't thought of that. I was concentrating on the Risen. You're right. There are Crate to the south on Crate Ben Island. I bet those cold-hearted snakes kidnapped her. Leave behind a wall of seed plants to guard the village and meet me at Crate Bane Island. We'll find Tegwin.
stand and face me, you treacherous eels. Deliver Tegwin back to me safe and sound, or I will cut you into fishing bait. And I... Hey, are you listening? Slithery creatures, I'll chop you all into bait. You were supposed to wait. Rushing off like that could have gotten you captured or killed. What were you thinking? Thinking? I was thinking I should wait. But then I stopped thinking that because there were crate. Those eels will pay for harming Tegwin. All right, Loose Cannon. I see some crate spires over there. If Tegwin's there captive, they'll be holding her in one of those. Come on, let's go get her back. Together. Let's go. <laughs> no sudden scum! You'll never get away! Don't worry! please! Free me from this cage! Have mercy! You will obey! You free me! My massive intellect must be preserved! When are you all right? Thank the mother tree, I was so worried. Is this the celery stock you keep babbling about, Tegwin? Well, spank me and call me apprentice. Looks like your salad days aren't over after all. Karis, what are you doing here? Why have you left your post? You have a duty to protect Anwen. One of us must be there. By the alchemy, stop being a warden for ten seconds and just thank him, you wilting shrub. Please don't be mad. I had to find you. I had to. I just couldn't think of anything clever. Then the Valiant came and did amazing things, and here we are. Oh, Karis, you may not be a genius, but you have such a good heart. Thank you for not giving up on me. Some of us are still in cells here. It's been really great waiting to be a crate snack, but my toes are shriveling, and I'd like to go home. Of course. My regrettable Asura companion is correct. We must free all the prisoners. Even the annoying ones. There's a crate jailer out there in the water. He'll have the keys to open these cages. Don't worry, we'll find him. Everyone gets out of here alive. Well, everyone except the crate. Blooded filth! You in the cages with the others! May the sun bless you. I am free. I hate cages almost as much as I hate logic problems. Thanks.
stop them! Cripple them if you need to! May the sands take you! I'm so glad you're safe, Tegwin. I was lost without you. I mean, I knew how to find North, but still lost. I'm very proud of you. You kept the beach clear and you rescued me. Valiant, how did you happen to be in Anwen? Trahan sent me. He hadn't heard from you since the letter you wrote during the storm where you mentioned an Orion artifact. My mentor. I'm fortunate he was able to send you. He's taught me so much about defeating the creatures of all. I wanted to get the artifact and send it to him for his research. It was a beautiful silver mirror, just radiant, covered in the designs of ancient ore. I saw it from my window during the storm, but the rains were too heavy to go out. When I went to search the beach the next morning, I was attacked by Crate. Hey, I was captured during that storm. I was checking the squid traps near my lab. You know, I think I heard those rats chittering about a slab of hard water. Might be your mirror. I figure I owe you one for the rescue. Those Skrid have a scratch near Zinder Slope. If you want, I'll show you where they live. Oh, can we? I've never seen a Skrid house, and that way we could still get the mirror. Tegwin? Well, Anwen's protected by the seed plants, and it is for a good cause. All right. Valiant, I'd like you with us. Shall we meet at Zinder Slope? I'll see you there. Onward. Trolls killed our pack bull. I'm afraid we might be next. Please Running! Running! Keep running! You! Rat! Give us the mirror you picked up on the beach! Mirror? Kispik doesn't know mirror. What is? Big. Rectangular. Silver. You can see your reflection in it. Have you seen it? Hmm. Wait. Maybe? Yes! Follow! Do not forget, gather all the things! Is Mirror? No. 
though, Kispik. That's a statue. Probably stolen, too. <laughs> it's not as if the Skrid are sculptors. Not stole! Found! Follow me. Maybe Mirror is over there. Quick! Quick! From here to... Yes! Is Mirror, maybe? Those were golems, you gibbering ball of fur. Now they're just junk. Huh? No, Kispik, that's not the Mirror either. It's silver and shiny. Hmm. Follow. We go deeper. You, here, there, now we go. Ah, now I can remember. Here, this is the mirror you were looking for? Yes, that's the mirror. Can we have it? We can offer it in trade. If you fix these golems, the script will give you the mirror. We want the golems to defend our home against the fire creatures. Is it a deal? Strange. It sounded like Kispik suddenly became smarter. Is such a thing even possible? More than possible. That's how Skrid operate. When they're alone, they're dumb as an electrocuted rock. Get a few together, and their intellect improves. Oh, wow. I wish Sobari got smarter like that. Me too, Fluffwit. Especially right about now. Are you sure you can repair those golems, Laura? They look like a total mess to me. Of course I can. But listen, I don't see why I should waste my time to save a horde of shiftless scavengers. We're better off if the destroyers wipe out these thieving script. You're getting ahead of yourself. First we see if we can even fix the golems, and then we figure out what to do with them. Fine. Get out of my way, you soft-hearted artichoke. This'll be a snap. Search this squalid pit for the golem parts. Maybe I can make something out of them. Aha! A quasi-phasic reactor. This'll do nicely. These golems are barely functional. We'll be lucky if they don't tip over, explode, or tip over and explode. Huh? I haven't seen a working Arco Magic U drive in years. That's it. A crystal core. That's the last thing we needed. Oh, yeah! There we go. This golem's functional. Now then, shall I set its weapons for deep fat fry and point it at those annoying rats? Lara, imagine you were back in the crate cage waiting to be eaten. It's the same here. We must protect the weak from the merciless.
Searching for destroyers. It's magnificent. Look at the detailing on the silver frame. There's something moving inside the mirror. Behind the... Uh, I can't quite see. It looks like... Why, that landscape, it looks like ore. Ah. What happened? Where did Tegwin go? Oh, Brambles, did the crate take her again? Valiant, help! The crate are nowhere near us, you yammering salad. That mirror must be cursed. Tegwin looked into it and vanished. That's definitely not good. Even if I knew how to undo a curse, this mirror's Orion. It's far more powerful than I can handle. We have to take it to Traherne. He's studied ore since the early days of the Savari. He'll know how to help Tegwin. I was studying forced material transference long before that walking fern fell off the tree. Come to my lab instead. I'll locate your missing green bean and have her back here in no time. You're very clever, Lara, but Traherne's a firstborn. What do we do? Valiant, you decide. Embarrassing. I'll do better next time.
I've sensed his restlessness, though I had hoped for some warning. I'll challenge her new Our deeds to are No greater Tegwin, I can see her in the mirror. Tegwin, can you hear me? Hold on! Valiant, you're just in time. Karis told us what happened. I've been studying the mirror, but the magic is beyond me. If we are to rescue Tegwin, we will need the Pale Tree's help. Please help me, Mother. Tegwin is my friend. I'm lost without her. She taught me how to be a warden. She taught me everything. I know that I'm not very smart, but she's always been good to me. I can't let her be trapped forever in such a horrible place. My best friend is in terrible danger. I wish she was back in the crate cage. Have courage, my child. The mirror's magic is not unknown to me. Tegwen is still alive, though she is very far away. Don't lose hope, Karis. Tegwen needs us to be brave. Well said. Hope is more powerful than any weapon. It is a light in the darkness, a star to lead us home. To rescue her, you must step through the mirror into Orr and find Tegwen there. Traherne and I will keep the portal open so that you may return. Hurry, Valiant. If Zaitan's servants discover the portal, they could use it to enter the grove. I cannot allow that. I understand, Mother. We will be swift. So much darkness. So much evil. How long can Tyria survive with this blight upon her soul? The mirror's enchantment is powerful. Be brave, my children. I am with you. Go. I'll stay and defend this side of the portal. Should any of the Risen try to enter the grove, they will meet my blades. We've got to find Tegwin. Please, Pale Tree, let her be safe. So, this is all? It's so dead. I've never seen anything so dead. Is that a giant sea urchin? A giant undead sea urchin? Is nothing sacred?
Our deeds are... Tegwin, I thought we'd never find you. I thought Zaitan was going to chew you up and eat you. Karis, you came after me. Again. Did you touch the mirror too? What were you thinking? At least I knew you were safe in the Caledon Forest. Now we're all trapped here. We're not trapped. Trahern and the Pale Tree are keeping the mirror's portal open. But there isn't much time. If we hurry, we can escape Orr and arrive safely in the grove. You're not kidding. We can go home. Thank the mother. Karis, you crazy brave girl. Stay close to me. War is not the kind of place that tolerates mistakes. Swiftly, Valiant. Lead the way. the valley where we started. The portal must be close. You will obey. I don't think they watered this place very well. They did. This place. Never forget how hollow it feels. I see the Valiant. I think I can make out Tegwin, and Karis too. Have courage, my children. You are almost home. <laughs> Safely home. Now, Traherne, close the portal and we shall all be safe once more. Thank you, Mother. I speak for us all when I say we're glad to be home. That place was foul, cold and hopeless, like a murdered soul. I can feel its chill in my spirit. Be at peace, my daughter. You're safe now, and soon the warmth of the grove will cheer you. Stay near the pale tree for a while, little sister. In time, your spirit will heal again. Trust me, I know this well. The dragon's corruption is a blight that sickens the heart. If we do not stop Zaitan, the entire world will wither and die. I understand what you mean now, Mother. We cannot allow the dragons to exist, even if it costs us our lives. Valiant, I am proud of your courage and your conviction. Though you have seen horrors, you now understand our greatest weapon against them, hope. Thank you, Mother Tree. I will think on this. When you need me again, I will be ready. Come, you've been through too much. 
Let us return to Anwen. I don't know if I can face the undead. My visit to Orr has shaken me. Then I'll hold the beach while you find your footing. And when did you become such a fierce warden? You taught me well. <laughs>